Hey, what's going on guys? I have got an interesting video today. Today, I want you to join me on an adventure, and that adventure is sleeping in my Tesla Model 3. So, what has happened is I've been called up to a job in Scotland again. So I've got another 400 plus mile journey to do. I'm currently doing that journey and I actually haven't booked accommodation, so I'm sleeping in the Tesla. So the whole point of this video, this vlog, is to find out, is it possible to camp in the Model 3 when you're six foot seven and you're doing it a day's notice? Let's find out. <laughs> Now, on the way up here, I nipped into an Audi. I grabbed my pillow from home, but I got a little sleeping bag. So, this is gonna be interesting. There's two ways of doing this. One is you recline your seat all the way back, which actually isn't bad. It's not bad at all. So, oh, now, I'm, so my legs are, and I would probably just bed down like that. Hmm, could I, could I do that? I don't think that's for me. I don't think that's for me. So the other way is, which most people are doing, is you fold your passenger seats down and you sleep in uh, in the rear and in the boot. So half and half. Now, I know already this is gonna be quite difficult for me. So what I'm gonna do is pull this seat forward now. Let's, let's test this out and see what it looks like. So take this seat forward. So to fold these seats down, if you've not done it before, there's a wee little handle up here and you just pull it down, that's it. And as you can see, I've not actually got that much room. I, I, I am on a job, I'm on a job, so I have got equipment with me, but it's minimal equipment, so I can shuffle it round and see what we're doing. But let's, let's have a look at this. This is what I'm working with at the moment. As you can see, not the, not the widest room, especially for someone like me. But, you know, not terrible. Let me test it out. To be honest, there's, there's no way of doing this dignified. Okay. If I'm being honest, being completely honest, I don't know if I could handle that. It's, uh, it's a little bit cramped for me. So, I've got a plan. The plan is, I'm gonna get all my gear when I'm just about to go to sleep and stack it on the passenger seat and the uh, front seat. And then I can fold all the seats back. So I can fold both that rear seat back as well and have lots of width. And then I can fall asleep, loads of width and loads of room. So with all that being said, let's uh, finish this charging journey and then we'll go to the next supercharger and go settle down for the night. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I really wanted to do a camping video anyway. I've been wanting to do a camping video for a long time. This has just kind of happened by default. This I've not chosen to do this. So if you appreciate that I'm doing this off the bat, I could have booked an Airbnb, but it would have been a bit of a hassle. So I thought, why not try to do the camping video? Now, I want to be open and honest, as always. About a week ago, I messaged on Instagram the can't remember the name of the company, Dream. Basically, they do a bed. They do a bed designed for the Model X, the Model S, and the Model 3, and it like sort of fits in. So one of the issues I'm gonna have tonight is that there's this huge gap down here. Now, being six foot seven, I know, I'm, I know it's not gonna be a, a long enough for me, so I'm gonna have to sit in a fetal position a little bit, which I do anyway. I think what their beds do is create a, a, like a little platform to make the bed longer. So they, they actually do a bed, it comes really compact. You can put it in the back of your car, store it in the back of your car, it makes camping in the back of the Model 3 really easy. And in the Model S and the Model X. This video is not affiliated by them, but the reason I'm mentioning them is because I messaged them on Instagram and I said, hey guys, um, my name's Jordan, I run a small YouTube channel based on Tesla, and I want to do a video on camping in the back of the Model 3. Is there any chance I could get a review unit that I could use for this video? 
and they didn't get back to me. So if they see this and want a full review, send one out to me, guys. I'd love to do one. I'll send it back. I'll put a sheet over it or something. I don't know how you'd do it with something like that. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to hit the road now. I have um, about four hours drive, and I'm going to stop in the Perth Supercharger. The reason I'm choosing the Perth Supercharger is because it's on the way and it's a really huge car park where I feel comfortable sleeping. This really private, contained car park, I feel comfortable sleeping there. Um, it's kind of tucked away but also quite secure as well. So, let's hit the road, but I also want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's used the referral code now. We had a few more referrals come through. We had two more referrals come through this week. I think the refer I, I feel like the referral code wasn't working because a few of you commented saying that you'd used the code and, and it hadn't come through, but now it seems to be working again. about five minutes more of supercharging then we're off to the last location got one hour's left of driving which isn't much and then we'll get the bed set up and sit in there now talking through it and all that kind of stuff will probably happen in the morning so let's go i am going to put a quick charge on this just because i don't know how much energy the camping mode uses because that's what we're going to use tonight we're going to use camping mode so here i am at the perth supercharger here is the beautiful she looks so good at night we've got all these charging stores are free but whilst i'm just putting this little bit of juice on what I'm going to do is set the bed up and uh, move the boxes around and yeah, show you what I'm going to be dealing with tonight. So, I don't know if this is going to go as well as I'd hoped it would. Literally as I was just like potting around, that police car that you've just seen sped up to the car right up to us, drove straight up here, quickly stopped and uh, literally as soon as I pulled the camera out to try and, I was just trying to film just because I thought it could be interesting if they come up to me, as soon as I get the camera they sped back off again and that's the little bit I just ca captured then, so I don't know if this is going to go as well as I'd hoped it would go, I'm kind of expecting now that I might get stopped in the middle of the night, um, a, knock, a knock on the window which I do not want. I've, got, I've opted for the back load, which I think looks quite, looks quite comfortable. Now, I've just had a test, I just tested lying down in there, and it was too short for me. Uh, I think it probably suits someone who's about five foot eight, maybe, about five foot eight. So I've, what I've done is I've put one of my uh, cases here and some little pad in, so I can have my head all the way at the back. And then I put a little jacket down for now. You can't really see into the back, but I've got a jacket and it's just empty all the way through. That's that, really. I'll just pop this in the back. That's long enough. What I'll do is just uh, pop that in here. So I'm going to get in now. I'm going to take the car off charge. Okay, so I'm going to put it into camp mode now. Now there's there's two concerns I have with this, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So to put it into camp mode, go into the settings. Let me just turn the heat. You just open this. You hold this down. So you just press that, and you put in camp. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20 percent. Such mode security alarm and walk away lock will be disabled. So yeah, there's something that I have an issue with. Two things actually. One is that I've not got any window coverings, which is my fault, that's fine. Like, what can I do? Two is, can I lock the car with me in it? Because I've got all the camera gear. I've got. I've just got stuff that, I, that could be pinched quite easily. One thing I'm noticing straight away is that we're on quite a bit of a, a decline. So there's a tip for you. Try and park downhill. It only, I think this will only be v valid in the Model 3. Try
try and pot downhill. It makes it feel m much more natural. Okay, I'm in. I'm in the tent. The tent? The sleeping bag. Okay, now let's see if I can lock the door. Extension mode's off in camp mode. And we're locked. Okay, cool. It looks like you can do it. This is so freaking cool. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sleep now whilst listening or watching a bit of Netflix. Right, I'll let you know how it goes guys in the morning. What's going on? I'm in the back of the Model 3. And pleasantly surprised, I had a nice sleep. I woke up a few times and that was because of me. So As you can see, I've actually turned the other way around now. This is the best sleeper position by far. Camp mode's on. Let me get out of here and do a little review. Okay, so I went to bed around half 11. It's now eight. I woke up multiple times. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. I woke up multiple times. It wasn't the best of sleeps, but I think a lot of that was down to the fact that um, those police came last night. That kind of put me in a mood where I was on edge. I got an all right amount of, amount of sleep. Okay, so one thing. I don't know if you can see that. You're gonna have a stream of water from your car. And that is the aircon system. Do not panic about it. It happens with all cars, not just Teslas. So here are my tip after reviewing sleeping in the back of a Model 3. First of all, make sure you get the temperature right. For me, I had it set at around 17, 18 degrees and then it got a bit too cold for me. It was a little bit too cold. So that's set it to 24 degrees and it got a little bit too warm. So I'm thinking if I have to sleep in here again tonight, 21 degrees, I think I'll go 21 degrees. So it's a bit messy, mind the, uh, the old bedroom. But I went head in the boot. Head in the boot by far is the best in my opinion. Yeah, it was much better than the other way around. It felt more natural, felt more normal. Pillow, sleeping bag's great, pillow. Get a pillow. Third thing, because you've got camp mode, it's worthwhile just taking a blanket. You don't need a sleeping bag because the car's maintaining the temperature. You don't need to stay warm. A blanket would be much better. A blanket or a duvet. I mean, you could even lower the temperature a little bit and use a duvet. That's in the future what I'll be doing. I won't be bringing a sleeping bag. Definitely to a blanket or a duvet. Fourth thing, which surprise is not as bad as I thought, but yeah, definitely fourth thing is you need something to soften the floor. Now, I actually managed quite well. It wasn't that uncomfortable sleeping on the backs of the chairs, but it would have made it an absolute dream if I had had something to soften it, like a small mattress, a camping mattress, an inflatable mattress, something like that would have been amazing. Fifth thing is window coverings. So window coverings would help quite a lot. I think window coverings would give you that sense of security, Window coverings with some earplugs and you'd be set because you're just in your own little world after that, I guess. To be honest, that's it. Six foot seven, sleeping in the back. I have to sleep at a little bit of an angle. It's not terrible, but you definitely need to create like a little platform there. You can't, you can't just do it straight up. You have to create a little platform there. Head towards the back, definitely, especially if you're taller. You might be able to fit two medium-sized people in here. You'd struggle with two big people for sure. Very, it is quite small. A slightly, slightly bigger than a small single bed. 
So, you know, sharing a small single bed is not the best. What would make this the best? What would make it amazing? Probably the ideal situation is window coverings all around and one of those sleep mattress things that I was talking about. Getting a Dreamcase mattress would, I'm pretty sure, change the experience wildly. In fact, <laughs> it's quite funny. I was sat there at one point wishing I was sat on a dream case. Just, I think the, the biggest thing that was missing was like that soft mattress. Now I might try and make something for myself. I would love to review the dream case, if dream case see this, or if someone could send us a dream case, I'd love to review the dream case. So, can you sleep or camp in a Tesla Model 3? Yes. You don't, and you don't need much to be able to do it. If you're just looking for a, a place to pop that your head down and get sleep, <clears throat> and not looking for the best comfort, then yeah, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Like I say, there are recommendations. If I was planning to do this for a couple nights, two, three, anything over two nights, I would look at getting the dream case or something like that, and make my own little single bed. But as it stands, it's quite possible to do it as it is.